Yo, what up guys, beside me here, I have 118 Mortal Soul Stones to summon right now in this video, Immortal Soul Stone only for from my main account, the first time they are doing this awakening boost, so this is the best time, I think it's launching for an entire 2 or 3 days right here, 2 days and 22 hours right here, you have a 2x chance of getting 6 star perfect soul, it doesn't apply for any other lower uh, 5 star, 4 star, no, you don't have a higher chance for that, but 6 star perfect soul, it's boosted chance right now. Your wish list will also be important right now to go in there and set champions you would want six star perfect soul for. For me, it's the king and queen and Cora and her partner right here. And some epics that I think I'll benefit from a six star perfect soul for, for, for some reason. And of course, my res doesn't even matter over there at this point in the game. All right. So let me, before I go into my main account and someone, let's get out some account out of the way. First of all, I'm starting off for the 2024 free-to-play account where we have only six Immortal Soul Stones right here. Let me start off with Ancient Shard as usual. No space, of course. Let me just go into this, um, the main event for the day, which is this, and see what we can get from here. What do I have on the wish list? Only the legendaries we have, only two which we can use on this account, and some epics. I don't think I can, I'm willing to change any of the epics because I'm putting epics I will use in the clan boss as my wishlist champions right here and then for the rest that's all i have right all right let's go 87 points yes a tournament is also going on as part of this one so you can get some is it a tournament or a oh that's a wishlist champion apothecary two star and a legendary which i don't want ignatius three star so for a tournament like this the higher is it a chase let me quickly check which type of points you get from the tournaments So it's, it gives you points based on the level of the champions you get, I think. Yeah, it's a chase. So if you get higher rarity, you get more points for this soul chase tournament going on right here, which will give, give you some points. 300 energy, that's cool for this account where we need a lot of energy like this. So after this one, I'll switch over to the Noob to Pro where I also will pull in some... Oh, I'm clicking it again. We are pulling some Mortal Soul Stones right there also. The portal is glowing red. The first time we're seeing this type of event so it's a good change the question is why did they not do this at the beginning when they launched this altar of souls why did i have to wait for players to spend a lot of money spend a lot of resources spend a lot of time trying to get souls for their champions oh claude is actually a champion i have it's not even in my wish list but here we go nice a three star on claude is nice i intend to take that champion to 60 eventually So I guess this breathes more life into this um, altar or souls. It makes it more, you know, necessary for players to actually go into this um, Iron Twins Fortress to fight that battle and get the resources required to make this happen for their champion. And now the blessings have also been revamped, which makes it even more necessary for you to get higher blessings and plus Soul Cross, uh, which, uh, well, not just Soul Cross, the entire cost, Corset City, which gives you some resources for fighting some battles with highly ascended champions that's all we got from here let me sell some of this trash that i will never build and see whether it will be enough for us to do one more i don't think it will be enough i'm keeping the epics for now i'm not keeping this one i might keep him just for faction wars maybe now, for an account like this, I do have 495, which is it enough to go to the market and do this? No, clearly not enough. So, I guess it will instead be spent on nine of these that I can buy for somebody. On an account like this, yes, I still do buy it. Now, the next account that I want to summon these souls on is my Noob to Pro series, yes, which is still very much alive with 34 um, Mortal Soul Stones right here. Let me go into it and see. I did not check the wish list on this one. That's a legendary coming in hot with a shamrock, which you do not have. A Kalia, which is not now. Wish list, bone keeper, and Farrakhan the Fat, one we do not have yet. Deacon Armstrong, two star, he is in the wish list. Boom. Still, the Drake is useful. We got one useful one at least. One useful one. No Godseeker and Neri on the account. Yes, we do have a Bellower, but I might already have him 
Sky Touch Shaman 3 stars. So I'm getting some good ones on the Noob to Pro. Nice. And of course, we have enough points to unlock the first level. That's a four star cold heart. She's in the wish list on this account. Nice. The Noob to Pro did get lucky. Why is Moth Stalker in the wish list? I don't know. The Noob to Pro did get lucky. I can say that. Because this amount of champions from the wish list and from the champion pool that I have is, is impressive. That's a legendary. No, just an epic. But it's a three star epic. That's a rare. We that still not fix this thing where you see the points before the champion pops out. It's still spoiling it for you, letting you know what you're about to get before you even see it. And the last one. Nothing much on Honor Guard. No Immortal Soul Stones to summon on this account. So if I to check my Awakening, we can see Seal the Drake now has a 2 star. That means she goes into instantly Brimstone. I already beat the faction for um, Barbarian, so she's not going to help me for that faction because that's what this free to play Noob to Pro is all about. I'm trying to get Lydia. And I'm trying to put champions that will help me in Faction Wars, which is one of them is Grizzle Jar. A 4 star on Cold Heart, of course, would mean she's going to be nuking harder in every content we use her, including the Spider and the Fire Knight. And of course, a 2 star Deacon. This champion, this um, account got so lucky. I hope my main account is this lucky. Even the free to play 24 got a, a little bit lucky. And a 2 star for Bellower. It's nice to not be able to spend resources to buy these things from the um, Soul Merchant. It's just nice to get it this way. From some of these champions, they are one star, two star. It costs a lot of those um, resources, and that's all we got. Now, finally, for the main event, my main account where I have one one eight without delay. Have, have I shown my wish list? Well, yes, I've shown, shown my wish list. I'm starting hot with the immortals, or let, let me start cold. Did I create enough space? I think I did. I don't know. Battle Sage. What am I looking for over here? Well, Frita Cold Heart is not one I need. I need legendaries on this account. And then ba Bamboos. Bamboos I already have him at 3 star or 4 star. Was it given to us for free? I have to check. Because whenever they give those legendaries fusion, they now follow it up with a blessing um, event or so summoning event. Nothing. Fren Frenzy the Cackler, that one the free to play has it, but we didn't get a blessing for that. I'm surprised I don't have that champion on my main account for that matter. I want gold, I want legendaries. There we go. Remember, this is a 2x on six stars, so it's not boosting the chances of getting this, these ones you're seeing right here. When I see 6 star blessing, that's when I know I actually got blessed. But I hope when I get the 6 star, it's for a champion I already have. Please don't give me a 6 star blessing for a champion I do not own. And don't give me a 6 star blessing for a rare either. I'll take for an epic or a legendary, but please, not a rare. With 100... I think we, it's going to happen now. That's 155 points. One legendary. Come on. Hegemon, I already have that. Sebuka, it's already a max. I think another legendary will pop out. I knew it. It's a three star. Ooh, that's why I had a lot of points because of Androck is in there. I don't want blessings for mythical champions. Did they reduce the mythical champions drop rate? Because it seems like mythical champions are not dropping like they used to. When they launched mythical champions into this blessing, into this soul stone, someone they were dropping like almost every ten pool. Lanarkis three star is gonna be huge. This is even huge. Three nineteen points. Please be a six star. Not just another mythical, which I will never get. Where is it? 319 and it's just... Oh, that's it. <laughs> Toph. <laughs> so this is what gave me the 319. Toph, a champion I do not have. That's my 6 star lock for the day, I guess. How many more do we have? Did I, have I gone up to 50? So with another 50, we might get another 6 star. We might. Let me keep going. At 59, that means we got nothing. I'm maybe not going to wait. Click. Knock it out of the way. See again. 
92, that means we got nothing. Click, no need to waste. Oh, we got mythical, but they are both one stars, right? Yep, called it. And I think I'm out of space. Collect, collect, collect. Now the question is, will it be wise now to spend all these resources I just got on? Let me go to the soul collections and do some cleanup. Just one sec. It's not going to take a lot of time, so I don't need to pause, right? I think I need to pause so it doesn't waste time. All right, I make some more space. Let's keep summoning. I've got a lot of good stuff for some champions that I've never had one star, two star souls on. And Bamboos was also new for me, so I found that out. A legendary, and it's going to be Warlame, a champion I do not have. DJ Massa, she's in the wish list, but that's a two star, which is nice. Six star hola. <laughs> Six star from a rare. I saw it at the end. That's a legendary for Supreme El Hain. She's new to my roster. Another legendary for Ronda. I don't think I need Ronda one star perfect soul. I do not buy one star perfect soul in the shop anymore according to what the experts say it's not the best so i think i'm going to follow their advice from now on and we don't have enough to do one more 10 pulls i'll do eight single ones before i switch over to the big boys and do those pulls also i hope this gives me enough tournament points <laughs> shamrock It's legendary again. No, I already have Corona in two or three star already because I bought it from the shop. Now I have this 114 also Mortal Soul Stone because I have been farming the um, that dungeon boss with the six keys they give you for free per day plus extra six. That's a good one, 70 points. Come on, come on. The 2x is working. Obviously, you see it's working. I got like three champions, six star, perfect soul. Three out of um, 114 mortal soul stones. 2x is working, it seems, but I'm getting it for all the wrong champions that I don't want to have that kind of high blessing on. Collect more rewards from it. I'm switching over to the Awakening Boost for Immortal Soulstone and let's see what I can get from this one. Now, these are the big boy ones and if you get Total Trust right here, it hurts so much. Some people might even say save this for... Ooh, that's a Man Eater one. It's currently in my wish list. I want my Clan Boss Man Eater to do a lot more damage in negative affinity, so I'm getting them higher blessings. Hopefully, it doesn't um, disturb my tune, my speed tune, Bat Eater. And some people say save this for soul, not soul chase, the other type of soul someone in a tournament also. But or just pull enough to get the points you need at a legendary. Oh, it's a mythical. Highly ascended four star. So if I have a four star for this dude, that means I don't need the three star that I currently have for him, right? Oh, the one star, it's not needed. That's a nice one. I don't even know about how it works or if it's good enough, but we'll keep them until one day, maybe in the future, we'll get something worthy. No duplicates over here, right? For legendaries. Oh, that's a duplicate that I don't need. Let's scroll to see if we've got anything saved up right here that is nice. Nothing special. The rest are just... Epics, epics, epics. Probably don't need this too low. And all the rest will be sold later. Including this six star, yes. There is no need. I'll not never build this champion. So I'm gonna sell this instantly without delay. Damn, feels so bad to sell it. Six star perfect soul. Including this one. I got another 100 of these big boys too bad but hey it gives us some more resources to spend towards this um 
eternal soul stones now if i wanted to buy eternal soul stones from the mystic market i'm getting closer i just got 200 right here but what about these ones i just got should i go for more three immortal soul stones and just summon some more no it's not worth it at all i've learned my lesson so i'm no longer using my um what do you call this resource now i'm no longer using my immortal soul coins i'm not using my soul coins for soul immortal soul stones at all it's only this one that i use for that so where am i going to spend it to make sure i don't spend it on anything else i rather do it like this right now in this video so you guys can see what i spend it on right now even the big boys i don't spend it on it i rather do this because i'm learning that buying these champions from the market by myself whenever i have a lot of resources is the best way to get six star perfect soul for the champions you actually want or five star perfect souls so relying on the shop it's not the best way to do it um i mean relying on the soul stone someone is not the best way to do it so i'm, I'm relying more on the shop these days i've switched up my gear and that's why i was able to unlock most of these champions to the high ascension that you see right here it wasn't from pulling soul stones let me switch where are my six star ones oh we have got some for manita I hope this doesn't mess with my clam boss team. We got a three star for this champion, Molly. Yeah, the summoning does help you a little bit get those early stages of their stars. That's why it's not advised at this stage of the game to spend your resources on um, buying them from the market. Don't buy one stars from the market anymore. So I will be summoning them from the market from now on. So, I think that's all I have. Mystic Market. I've already spent all my resources. Ooh, we have one more. Yes. I don't want to keep it so it doesn't tempt me. And now, if I want a split soul for this champion, I can buy it. But I have specific selected champion that I'm looking forward to in the market. Champions already have highly ascended to 3 star, 4 star. That's the one I'm looking forward to buying in the market right now no longer one stars even if i do have this champion i will never buy it even if i currently have this champion i will not buy it because she's not a priority so i can decide that i can pick and choose who i want to buy for the market and try not to buy a lot of epics because one day i'll summon them duplicates from right here what am i saving this for for so another type of soul summoning event and it's not applied to awakening boost so do not summon your eternal soul stones this weekend I don't know if this was a success or a failure, but I enjoyed it. I enjoyed waiting for this 2x on Soul Stone Summoning event, Awakening Boost, like they call it, to now begin to summon my uh, Soul Stones. We like the new visual in the portal right here. Let me go ahead and see how many points. Maybe a legendary skill tome or two because I summoned a lot. Totally free to play on all the accounts. It's impressive, right? So not up to getting the let's the legendary skill tome on that got a lot of mythicals i got a lot of legendaries well i didn't get a lot of six stars for epics or legendaries but <laughs> claim 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 so just a few more points to go over here 1450 so it's running for an entire two days and 22 hours i'll farm two more days to in the um, iron twins fortress to get this it's just a few points 100 points right i can do it 100 points is easy to hit in that amount of days so stopping right here there's no reason to go up to 1940 or 2 500 that's too much except you have all that resources saved up so far i'm waiting i'm gonna save this until the fusion there's no need to claim this right now save that for the fusion that is coming up because yes it will go to your inbox when it expires how did your soul auto also summoning go i'm i'm happy about it i'm super glad about it that they added this boosted summoning rates to this um, portal finally and it's beginning to be more exciting i don't feel so bad when i got get nothing now and i'm also getting some tournament points along the way as i go all right guys let me know what legendary champion or amazing six star perfect so you pulled that made your accounts far more better right now i'm fine with all the little ones i got I'll see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more daily raid content. Later, guys.